Hello everybody, this is Tucker Miller here again, and tonight, like I said, for my next movie review, I'm going to be reviewing on Megamind. Came out in 2010. So, yeah, so the plot of this movie is, is we got this supervillain named Megamind, who was voiced by Will Ferrell. When he was a baby... His planet was getting, like, destroyed by an asteroid or a meteor or something like that. So his parents saved his life. And then, yeah. And then Megamai got sent to Earth. And then and he got sent to this, like, prison. And that's how he became, like, a bad guy. And then, yeah. Then he works with this, his henchman named Minion, who was voiced by David Quartz. And then, then meanwhile, Meg, Meg and I, like, escaped from jail, and... Yeah, and then, then he kidnapped this news reporter named Roxanne, voiced by Tina Fey. And then, yeah, and then he plans to t defeat this superhero named Metro Man, who was voiced by Brad Pitt. And then, yeah... But however, Metro Man, people think Metro Man died thanks to Mega Knight, but what really happened was we found out later in the later on in the movie, Metro Man actually faked his death. So yeah. But people were sad and then yeah, and they blame Mega Mind for it, and then yeah. So Mega Knight decided to create a new superhero, main Titan, who was who was how, how, how the cameraman, the cameraman, so yeah, who were voiced by Jonah Hill, so yeah, so Megan might gets how to, trains how to become a superhero, hero, and names him Titan, ignore, ignore the background, it sounds like a motorcycle, so, yeah, ignore that, guys. So, yeah. So, Megamind decides to create a new superhero main Titan. He trains how to become a superhero, and then, yeah. But but it didn't work because Mega ha Titan became a supervillain instead. So, Megamind has to do whatever he can to defeat him. So, yeah. Yeah, so it's up to Megamind to defeat Titan, and that's basically what the plot is. Now, what do I have to say about Megamind? I enjoy Megamind a lot. This is a great DreamWorks movie from 2010. Like, yeah, we got, we get, in 2010 we get not one, but, not two, but three DreamWorks movies. Yeah, DreamWorks we waste Three films in one year. So yeah. Like. How to Train Your Dragon came out in April of 2010. And Shrek came out in May of 2010. And this movie came out I think. November or December of 2010. I think it's December. I'll have to look it up later. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's De December. December. But I could be wrong. So yeah. I really enjoyed this film. Although when this film came out, it it this movie kind of unfortunately underperformed at the box office, which yeah, I don't get it. Because this is a great DreamWorks movie. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. it has a great voice talent too, so yeah. Now, let's talk about the characters. Megamind who is our title character, Megamind. Megamind is a great villain. And I have to say, Will Ferrell, which we all know him as film such as Elf, and Anchorman, did a great job voicing him. So, yep. Minion, he's a great character. And I have to say, David Quartz did a great job voicing him, him too. And we all know David Quartz was in another DreamWorks film, he he voiced Quain 
off of Kung Fu, the Kung Fu Panda movies. I'm not sh I think he was in the fourth one. I haven't seen the fourth Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda. The, so I had to work again. Again, so yeah, I'm pointing to review on the Kung Fu Panda movies at some point. I already revealed on the first one. So yeah. Now back to Megamind. So yeah, he was in Kung Fu Panda as Quain. So yeah, and but yeah, like I said, David Quartz did a great job voicing. Minion, so yeah. Roxanne, she's a great character, and I have to say, Tina Fey did a great job voicing her. So, yep. And Titan, aka Hal, who's the film's main villain. He's a great, he's a great DreamWorks villain, but probably not as good as Ward Farquaad from Shrek. But, I think Hal is a great DreamWorks villain. So, yeah, and I have to say, Jonah Hill did a great job voicing him, too. So, yeah. And, Metro Man? Metro Man is a great character. And I have to say, Brad Pitt did a great job voicing him, as well. So, yeah. Those are the characters I can think of on top of my head. So, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just the like, was it one, two, three, four, five, six. yeah, five main major characters, so yeah. Yeah, this, like I said, Megamind is a great DreamWorks film from 2010, it has a great voice talent, like I said, Will Ferrell, David Cross, Tina Fey, Brad Pitt, and Jonah Hill, and yeah. Yeah, this is a great movie. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. Oh, is now let's, how about we just talk about some scenes, shall we? Oh, there's some really great scenes. Like I like the part where where Metro when Megamind was training how to become Titan. That was a great scene. And all, and then, and then, yeah. Yeah, it is a great movie. A great movie, too, so, yeah. It is a great, and another great scene I could talk about is the ending scene where the cell, the opening ceremony of the, like, Mega Knight Museum or something, or whatever. And they were dancing to the song I'm Bad by Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah, rest in peace, Michael Jackson. He, yeah, R.I.P. Michael Jackson. So, yeah, they danced to the song I'm Bad by Michael Jackson. And, yeah, which we all know Michael Jackson sadly passed away in 2009. And, yeah. Yeah, he... Yeah, Michael Jackson was great. Was a great singer. And yeah. Yeah. The ending scene was great. And then, yeah. There was a lot of great scenes in this film. But I, I won't say them all. So, yeah. Yeah. So, those are the scenes I could think of on top of my head. Yeah, this movie is great. This is a great DreamWorks movie, like I said. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. And earlier this year, we got a sequel called Megamite the Doom Syndicate. I think that's what it's called. If I remember correctly, that was it's called Megamite the Doom Syndicate. Which, oh God, I heard that movie was awful. God, I might have to watch that for a rant. For a video. Why, yeah. I heard the animation was stupid. They they butchered Megamind's character. And, yeah. It just... And the animation's not that good. It, look, it just looks like a PC game. A PC computer game. If I'm being honest. 
But yeah, I have not seen the movie, so I can't criticize it just yet. So yeah, I'll have to watch it first before criticizing the sequel. So yeah, I'll check it out at some point and probably do a rant on it because I heard it's supposed to be terrible. Like, wow. But at least this movie right here, this is a great movie. I enjoyed it. I remember in 2017, it aired a lot on Cartoon Network. And yeah, this movie used to air a lot on Cartoon Network back in 2017. So yeah. So yeah, like I said, if you haven't seen Megamind, I highly recommend it. It's a great movie. So yeah, that's all I can say about Megamind. So... I'm going to give Megamind a 10 out of 10. Cannot think of any flaw with it. So, yes. So anyways, that is it for my movie review on Megamind. And stay tuned for my next movie review, which will be on Kung Fu Panda 2. But until then, see you in the next video. Bye.